Hey guys, so I wanted to share very two interesting experiences that I had today. The first was an amniotomy, and then the second is a circumcision. So what is an amniotomy? Amniotomy is basically when a pregnant lady, she has a fetus inside of her, right? But then the fetus needs protection, and that protection is done by the amniotic sac to reduce pressure coming from the outside. And when people say that their water broke, it basically means that their amniotic sac broke, and then that the baby is engaged and ready to come out. So the reason why doctors doctors do amniotomy is sometimes labor isn't going the way it should be and they do amniotomy so that the baby can come out. So I went into the room and there's a pregnant mom and there's a father and then there's an attending who I was following. What she does is she goes up inside the patient and she had this little stick thing and that stick was supposed to be to break the sack, right? When that was happening, I was kind of thinking in the movies when, when someone says their water broke, there's like a lot of water gushing out and I thought OB guy would be a lot of like splashing. So I made sure to stay far away from the patient and look from afar because I didn't want anything to splash on me. So when I was looking, she had the stick and she used her finger to go up there to guide where the amniotic sac is. And then she used the stick to gently break the water open. And I was kind of expecting the water to kind of gush out, but it didn't. It was just a little trickle of water and apparently that can go for a while as well. When I asked her why she used the finger there, she said that water can go splashing everywhere. So she used the finger to prevent the water from all gushing out at once so that she can control it coming out. So that was very interesting because I thought it would be very dramatic like in the movies, but it wasn't that dramatic. So the second thing, I followed another attending around to watch a circumcision. And the first thing we did was we had the consent forms and we went around taking consent from the parents. So what this is doing is basically going around the patients and explaining them about the surgery, the circumcision, and explaining the risks and benefits and side effects because it is actually a surgery. And all of the parents agreed and consented to the circumcision. And I think in the Middle East, majority of baby males do get circumcision at a very young age due to religious reasons. So what happened after that was the nurse brought out the baby and then the attending and I followed the nurse to this place where they do circumcisions. And the baby was so cute, he had no idea what was going on. He was just looking around and I thought he was so cute. So I was patting his cute white head and I said, it's okay, little one, you'll get through this. Oh, oh, oh no. Little did he know. So the procedure starts off with anesthesia. The doctor uses injections to anesthetize ties. So the doctor uses injection anesthesia so that the baby can't feel any pain. When the doctor injected anesthesia, the baby was crying because it's painful. And as my job as a medical student, I had to comfort the baby and I said, it's okay, it's okay, you'll get through this. I think circumcision was pretty gruesome. I never imagined it to go this way. What they do is, so here's this thing and the doctor cuts it up like this. And then once it's cut like that, the doctor removes the foreskin like that so that it's all off. And they put on this little clamp thing. What this does is so that it protects the head. And then the foreskin is rolled up and that's the part you're supposed to cut. And then the foreskin is rolled up to the little clamp thing. And with the little clamp, the doctor uses the scalpel to cut around the little thing. There's a little bit of foreskin that the baby has and it's disposed. And the funny thing is the baby has no idea what's going on. The baby's just happy suckling this little sucking thing and the nurse was giving him sugar water and the doctor said that sugar water is basically cocaine for babies. That guy was chilling, he was having so much fun drinking sugar water and sucking on this thing. He had no idea what's going on. So after that I said you've done great little one and I thought you'll probably never remember this but I'll never forget this and yeah off he went. So I hope this story kind of gives you an understanding what it's like to witness and see these things happen in the hospital for the first time. It was shocking for me too. And I hope you enjoyed my video. Bye, bye, bye.